I'm Peter Sidwell and welcome to my kitchen. I am here to cook another delicious recipe. Now, I wanted to show you something. I've been out on my daily walk today, I've got some fresh air, but what I did find was some amazing wild garlic. Now this stuff is beautiful. It's bang in season right now. So take a bag and a pair of scissors next time you get out for a walk and pick some of this because it is delicious. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do with it today. I'm gonna to make a really delicious frittata. It's fresh, it's healthy, it's delicious, and it's quick. So, non-stick frying pan on first. Get the heat up to about a medium heat, okay? You don't want it screaming hot, but what you don't want is it cold either. If you can't hear the sizzle, it's not ready to cook. I've got my onion here. Now, I have peeled it already, but I have left the core. That holds the onion together when you're chopping it. That makes it so much easier, okay? So, good sharp knife. I'm using edge keeper knife. Straight through the onion, there we go, into two halves. So that flat cut side, face down, hand up, in, group all the fingertips together, okay? Hold the onion like that. And then we're just gonna use the knife and we're just gonna make long, gentle slices. Now I'm not going up and down, I'm doing this, okay? So I'm cutting through. Moving my hands back, keeping my fingers tucked in. There we go. Then, take your knife and push it in halfway. There, you see that? That's where you want it. So it's cut that way, and now we've cut it in that way. Put the onion down, group it together like this. So if you imagine your hand like that, pinch it all together, and then push your knife through. So again, not an up and down chopping motion, it's a push it through. This is an edge keeper knife, it's super sharp. So push, pull it back and push, and there we go. Put the flat piece down, and then just chop up all your onion. I'm gonna just chop all the way around the core. There we go, and look, that, is the only bit we're wasting, that tiny little piece of core, okay? Right, so we've got our onions, these need the time, okay? So we're gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan, not loads, don't need loads, and then I've got some sea salt here. I'm gonna sprinkle that into the pan, and then in with my onions. I'm gonna use my knife to scoop them in. Carefully remove that. So the idea of the salt is that it will draw the water out of the onions. See this steam coming up? That's the water coming out of the onions. So the more water you can pull out using salt, the sweeter and more delicious these onions will become. So give them a stir around. So while my onions are cooking down, let's get the rest of the ingredients ready. Now, I've got a cooked potato here, so it's just a jacket potato. One left in the fridge. I'm just gonna cut it, top and tail it, and then I'm gonna put a little slice in there. Okay, that's just gonna allow me to peel the skin away. If you like the skin, leave it in. It's entirely up to you. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut it in half, and then into little pieces. I'm not gonna cut it too small, because I want nice pieces in there. So that's our potato ready. Now let's take our eggs. Four eggs for this frittata because I'm gonna share it, it's for two. So there's one egg, two, three, and four. Okay, so just whisk your eggs together. Don't beat the life out of them, okay? All you need to do is just mix them up a little bit. You don't need to whisk them for ages. Now I'm gonna season this mix because I want the seasoning to run all the way through the frittata. So, sprinkle of salt, sprinkle of pepper. One last mix, that'll do. Okay, now let's just look at the onions. Right, they're now starting to caramelize and cook down. The water is coming out of the onions, so we're just gonna be left with that lovely sort of sweetness. Okay, so let's make a little space and then we'll put our potatoes in, okay? And you'll see why in a minute. We wanna get some little fried gnarly bits, some bits of flavor there. 
The potatoes have just kind of seared onto the pan, so we've given us some extra flavour. I've washed all this garlic. It's really important that you do that. Really wash it well. Group it all up. Now, the younger it is, if you get out now, sort of April time, wild garlic's really young and really tender, but the further on in the season you get, the more it needs cooking, so it gets a bit tougher. So now, no cooking at all. So just trim the bottom off there, and then we will just group it all together and then just push the knife through. Right, in with our four eggs. One last turn. And then in it goes. So let's just use our spoon to mix all the ingredients through the frittata because we want the eggs to kind of coat around everything. Right, before everything sets, let's get some wild garlic in there. Lovely. Just push it down into the egg mixture. Beautiful. Final touch now, just with some lovely cheese, whatever you prefer. I've got some Lancashire cheese here. You could use cheddar, you could use a bit of Parmesan. And then just grate it over the top of the garlic and it'll just melt over there, lovely. Put as much or as little as you like, really. There we go, that'll do for me. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 10 minutes, 160 degrees, and then it will have souffléed, the cheese will have melted, it'll be amazing. Right, okay, so frittata has had 10 minutes in the oven. Look at that, beautiful, super, super light and fluffy. Non-stick pan straight out. So let's just lift this with one side, tilt the frying pan, there we go. Beautiful, super easy. I'm just gonna take a couple more pieces of wild garlic just for that sort of fresh flavor really. A bit of garnish, I suppose. Chop that up. And then just sprinkle it on. And you have got a super simple, fresh, healthy, delicious frittata. And it will just cut into lovely wedges. Look at that, cuts into a perfect little wedge, ideal for lunch. If you want the recipe, go to kitchencraft.co.uk and you'll find it there.